Hi everyone, welcome to another session of online art. Um, I've been doing a really fun spring series. So last video that you might have seen, we did this uh, drawing rendition of this painting. And I pulled out a second piece that I used to teach a juice and paint night. Um, and it's an insect, a ladybug in this case, on a leaf. Um, I decided I'll give you two options. So since this ladybug is really pretty easy to paint or to draw, um, we will be doing a caterpillar just so you have two options. Um, and I will walk through the ladybug as well on the side in case you want to use the ladybug instead of the caterpillar, okay? So I have my sketch. You're going to be using pencil to start off. And of course, as always, I'm going to use marker so you can see. And it's super simple. Uh, the one difference between my caterpillar picture and my ladybug picture is that I cut out like a little part of this leaf as if, because you know caterpillars love to eat. So I cut out a little piece of um, the leaf as if it was eating the leaf. Okay, so we're going to start with the leaf. Um, the leaf is universal. So whether you're doing the caterpillar, whether you want to put a butterfly, a worm, uh, a spider, a ladybug, we're still going to be using this general leaf shape. And to make this shape, you're going to start here at a point on the top of your paper and drag it out as a curved line and bring it back in. Almost so that this point would meet this point if you were to draw a line. Also, it almost looks like a moon in some ways. And you're gonna reflect, it's like symmetry. Uh, you're gonna reflect the same thing you did on this side, you'll do on the other side. And in this case as well, over here. Now, if your leaf is going to be whole, like here, you're just going to close out the line, okay? But because I want my caterpillar to look like it's eating, it's eating the leaf, I'm stopping right here. And I'm going to do a little squiggly line like this. So it looks like it's munched on my leaf, yeah? Next, I'm going to outline my caterpillar, and then after that, I'll show what it would be like if you wanted to do a ladybug on a separate piece of paper. So to outline my caterpillar, or to draw my caterpillar, I made mine look like it's like crunch, scrunching up, like, because, you know, if you ever look up a video or have seen one, it moves like this. It goes straight, it's really long, and then it scrunches up, and then it goes, that's how it moves, right? So I'm going to get it scrunching up, and I looked up some pictures, and I thought this would be cute. So I'm going to do, it's like a bunch of rainbows moving in a curve. All right, let's start with this first. First, I'm going to get its main body shape down like this. So it's like you're drawing a hill, okay? Draw a nice big hill and then round out that hill with a bunch of rainbows. And remember, I hope you're using your pencil just in case if there's a mess up, you can always erase. Now this is going to be the top part of its body and I want to see the bottom part so I'm going to draw from here, I'm going to draw a little curve shape leading in here. And then for its head, a nice circle, sorry, oops, not the best circle but it's okay, I'm drawing on the wall so, little antennae for it. And I stuck its tongue out because it's like it just finished eating and it's so happy because it's like yum. And then we have this and we might have little feet for it all around, okay? So that's my little caterpillar. Now if you wanted to do a ladybug instead, you would have your leaf shape. And for the ladybug, all you have to do is a circle. And then out of it, you can draw little legs. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then out of here, you're going to do like a little um, rainbow curve out. That's its head, yeah? And then two little antennae. And then later on, you would color this all in red. And you would add a little spine on it and some dots on top. OK? So you have two options, and then if you want to look up butterfly, if you want to look up any other type of insect that would be on your leaf, definitely do it. Now for my leaf, I know it has, I want to add like a little vein on it. If you ever see leaves, sometimes they have these, and they have these like lines. So I'm just very lightly with my marker adding those in, but I'm not letting it interrupt my caterpillar, okay? 
So that is my sketch. Um, I'm happy with it. I love it. And I'm going to take my eraser as always. And I'm going to oops, um, erase my pencil lines. And of course, the fun time always comes when we get to start coloring. And um, just like the butter, the flower picture with the ladybug on the leaf, that's a, this is like a great project you can do in any medium. That means if you want, you can draw it. And if you want, you can also paint it. As you can see here, I painted. I used lots of greens. Um, so you can do either way. If you want to grab your watercolors and try it out as a painting, go for it. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with my um, caterpillar. And look up what a caterpillar looks like online. There are some crazy looking caterpillars out there with really bright colors and patterns. Um, so like I always talk about how our art is our world, our imagination. I'm going to color my, cat my caterpillar in like make-believe colors. And in this case today, since my leaf is going to be just one color, basically, I'm going to use lots of colors for my caterpillar, okay? I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. I think I'm actually going to make it rainbow. So I'm going to start with my favorite color, which is blue. And I'm not going to just color in each part. I'm like kind of chain, like almost doing like different lines in it. And I'm picking my own way to do the rainbow. So I'm going to do like this kind of purple, this kind of like lavender. After purple would come red. So here I am basically coloring in my coloring book, right? I'm kind of finding an interesting ways to color in my caterpillar. So Roy G. Bib, red, orange, yellow, green comes next. And then it's so funny, I've ended up back to blue on my favorite color and I might color the rest of it in. And I'm using marker here because I think just like in my last picture for the bigger parts, I'm going to use a mix of marker and oil pastel. And I might add like little rosy cheeks. And its tongue could be red. And here um, I'm going to go backwards on the rainbow for its other part of its body. This is, a, like, I would love to see this in nature. I realize I haven't used, like, one of my favorite colors, pink. So I'm gonna do what I want, and I'm gonna just make it pink here. I love my little caterpillar and I might even want to add like fun little details on its antenna make it different colors like give him little dark blue feet or something <gasps> just having fun with it just looking what else can I do right all right my caterpillar's so happy I'm going to now start on my leaf and if we ever look at leaves or anything in nature we'll notice that it's not just one green, it's often many shades. Same with the ocean, um, same with the, a lot of things. So I'm gonna do a mix of greens, I think. And I might start, I might make it like a little bit more imaginary. Now, uh, if you wanna switch it up and have your leaf be multicolored, make it rainbow, you can do that, go for it, right? Um, how am I gonna do this? 
I might have it be like dark leading into, so I might start with dark down here. And again, this is totally up to you how you want to do it. So I'm kind of letting my dark lead into my light. And notice I'm coloring around my caterpillar, okay? I'm not coloring on top. And I might try out my oil pastel just like I did with my flower drawing. I'm gonna try out to see if this would work. If I were to go from, yeah, I think I like the way that looks. Oops. Now notice I went a little sloppy here and I kind of started coloring in my little caterpillar's legs. Make sure you move around what you have on top. This is why I wanted to color my caterpillar in first because if I got a little crazy, I might accidentally color my caterpillar in one of these greens and I wouldn't want that. So I'm dragging this up and again, please do what you wish. Um, but if you want to be inspired and try this out, do it too. All right, and I am meeting up in the middle with my light green. Okay, and I can drag this green out too if I want. Yay! So I more or less got my leaf down. I'm super happy with it. Um, the only thing in question now, and remember, if you wanted to do your ladybug, you would at this point or beforehand make this all red and do your spots on top. Um, the only thing I need now is my background. So you can make your background anything you want. I did a really light blue wash for all of my paintings in this in this um, series. So I think I might just use a colored pencil, which is very, very good for light coloring. And I might just do that exactly, just try to get like a sky in. But you could think about, you could draw another leaf. Like there's so much space here for you to work with. Um, so you could draw like another leaf. You could do, you could do a lot. But I'm going to go ahead and do this as a sky um, all around. And notice, again, with like pressure and how hard you push something, when it comes to coloring something a lot, it's, not, it's good to not color in so, so dark because guess what? You're going to be spending a lot of time coloring that in then. Unless you want it to be super dark and you've got that patience, then go for it. But here I'm coloring in really light because for me it's daytime. This picture is happening in daytime. So you can't even really see the blue, but it's definitely here and it looks like the sky. And I do kind of feel like I am feeling suddenly like, you know, if I wanted to, I could I would really probably add another leaf here. So I'm curious what you make with this space.
And honestly, I have watercolor. I would maybe even just watercolor this background instead of draw it out because it looks so much more fun. It would look so much cooler. But this is pretty much it. I love what I have. I'm gonna sign my name because I finished my artwork. And here you have it, a drawing edition of another spring picture for you to do at home. Um, if you wanna Google search what some crazy insects might look like to try to draw them and draw from observation, I really encourage that. It's such a good way to practice. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I don't, I'm curious whether you did your ladybug, whether you did something else, or whether you went with the caterpillar. We've got our make-believe rainbow caterpillar who just ate our little leaf. We've got our many, many colors of shades of green leading into the leaf, and we've got our background, which I'm, you know, we could have added more stuff here, but for me, I'm just going to keep it as blue. Okay, thanks for tuning in and see you at our next class.